When somebody lands on your blog or website, how are you going to get them to stick? Well, one of the things you can do is provide some customization that kind of makes them feel like they're a part of what you're building. So here I've got a basic blog and it's pretty basic overall. We've got some nice shiny colors, but down here I've got some custom site settings where you can like round all the radiuses of the buttons. You can actually change it to a system or dark mode or even better still, a 90s theme or maybe Dracula or material and then choose your custom kind of accent color. All of this is what we're going to be building out in this project. Now, this isn't so much about theming as much as it is about thinking through CSS and how you can make it more adaptable to things you might want to adjust. That's the power of a theming system. It's a new way of thinking about writing CSS and interacting with user input with JavaScript. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and a huge thanks to Sean for having me on the channel. I have my own channel over at Coding in Public, and if you enjoy this kind of thinking, I do this kind of stuff a lot on my channel. Now, a couple things you need to know before we get started. Number one, it would be good for you to have a pretty basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I will try to explain it in a way that's helpful for you, but you do need to have a starting knowledge of all those three. Second, we're going to focus primarily on HTML and JavaScript to start with, so just getting the functionality working, and then at the end of the series, we'll look at CSS, how to basically make these customized toggles and switches. In fact, we're going to hold off on the 90s, the Dracula, and the material theme until the last, the 10th lesson in the series. Now, in addition to having a basic understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you also need to have Node.js on your machine. You need to have at least 14.18 or higher, or 16 or higher. If you don't have that, you can come in here and download it from nodejs.org, and uh, then you should be set and ready to go. Now, I've tried to build this project out so that even if you're more advanced in your understanding of CSS and JavaScript, there are several new kind of concepts or ways of doing stuff that I think will be beneficial to you. And if you're just beginning, I hope this will still be accessible to you as we work through it. All right, so let's go ahead and get you started so that next lesson, we can start actually templating out the HTML for this right here. All right, what you're going to do is jump to the link in the description at custom site theming. This is on my repo here. And then just make sure you're on the main branch. All you'll have to do then at that point is come to the code, the green code button, and click download zip. That should download that zip file to your computer. And then let me open it up for you. All right, so I've got my folder open up here. Here's the custom site theming. Now you can right click and actually open this in VS Code or whatever code editor you want to use, or you can go the other way around where you open VS Code first and then open up this folder. I'm just gonna right click and open this up. All right, and it just opened it up here in VS Code. You can see that I've got my index.html page, a style.css page, post.css, and a package.json. Now let me just really briefly walk you through this if you're not familiar with the structure here. But basically I've got a dev script here. We're using Vite as our builder. You don't really need to understand how it works, just to let you know what's going on. And then we've got these dev dependencies, which will essentially help us with our CSS, making it more accessible to people who visit the site. But you shouldn't have to interact with really any of these. Now these are all kind of pushed through this post CSS config file, and that will take care of a lot of that minifying and auto prefixing and all the stuff you won't have to think about in this project. So what I'm going to do is open up this terminal down here, which you can do from the menu, or in this case, I just hit control and the tilde key. And then the first thing I need to do is with Node.js installed, which again needs to be like 16 or higher or 14.18 or higher. And if you're not sure what you're running, you can do node dash dash version like this, and it will actually tell you. So here I'm running 20.2, but whatever you're running, as long as it's higher than what I mentioned, you should be set to go. Then I'm just going to type npm install. That will install my dev dependencies and get me up and running. Okay, so just like that, all I need to do now is type npm run dev, and that was one of our package.json scripts right here. And when I do that, it will actually run Vite, which will spin up that dev server for me. All right, and just like that, I've got port 5173 up and running. Your code should look something just like this. Now, all the files, like the assets, like the mp3s, the favicons, the headshots, all that stuff lives in your public directory. You shouldn't have to touch this. We're just going to be interacting with this index.html page, the CSS page, and then eventually we will create a JavaScript file as well. But now that we've got this up and running, you should be ready to go. As long as you're seeing this screen, you're set. If you have any trouble, leave a comment in the description and I'll try to make sure I can help you out or others will as well. Now, one other thing to mention quickly is if you ever get stuck, you can always come over here to the GitHub link in the description, find the lesson that you got stuck on and then look at the finished code for that lesson. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to let me know in the description once again. I'm really excited to build this out with you. I can't wait for you to add this kind of theming to whatever sites you're building where you want people to have that level of control. A huge thanks again to Sean for letting me do this on his channel. Let's go ahead and jump in to lesson two. By the way, if you want to watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netNinja.dev. 
You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up. And I really hope you enjoy this series, and please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot, and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.